Well, uh, good morning, Betty. And uh, some of the key information that uh, the DCIA here in Mombasa Coast Region will be looking at is uh, with regard to, to the alleged uh, fake documents that uh, were present was, was sent to uh, the DCI office here in uh, the, the, back in Nairobi before they were sent here in Mombasa. But we understand that yes, this is uh, uh, with regard to a letter that was uh, sent by the uh, Kenya National Examination Council on January 26 with regard to the uh, uh, result slip of Governor Ali Hassan Joho. And remember that uh, this uh, issue has been coming up since yesterday and uh, after the governor now said that he cannot be, he could not be able to uh, go to the DS, DC, DCI, here, DCI here in Mombasa, he is scheduled to appear tomorrow. But uh, from the reports that uh, we are hearing, the, the war reports that uh, the principal for uh, Sirani boys had been, his, uh, his, uh, his apartment was attacked, but uh, those reports we can't, not, now we cannot be able to uh, confirm or neither deny because most of the reports that are coming here are, are from the, the social media. But we are, we are really trying to get uh, uh, some response from the principal that was then between 1992 and 1993, that is um, Ali Mohammed. He was the principal and uh, he would be key maybe in terms of unfolding and saying the truth of what happened. Remember uh, the issues surrounding this uh, case or this, uh, the, 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 what has been happening uh, in the public uh, is that uh, uh, the the, 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 the the Kenya National uh, Examination Council has been saying that uh, with regard to the school uh, index uh, code that was used in 1992, where the results that uh, were presented by the governor before he uh, he proceeded to do his undergraduate at Gresa University in 2014, and also the Kampala University, uh, why, why with regard to 1992 case, and they are saying that uh, uh, it it doesn't match with what is in the in the results and what has been circulating from the social media. And so we'll be waiting to see if the governor himself will be able to speak to us tomorrow. That will be very key in terms of uh, uh, moving forward with this uh, matter. Betty. Has there been any response or reaction uh, from the governor or his camp in regards to this uh, development? Hmm. Sorry? Ntalaki, has there been any reaction so far from the governor or from his camp so far? Well, Betty, I've been able to speak to the governor's uh, spokesperson, who is Richard Chacha, and he says that uh, for them, the governor completed Serrani Boys uh, High School in 1993. And so uh, there have been conflicting reports. Is it 1992 or 1993? That, those are some of the scenarios that the police also will be looking at. And also, you can remember that uh, some of the, uh, the schoolmates have been c coming out claiming that high school with Joho, some of them are, are saying that uh, they cannot indeed uh, confirm that... Uh, the school be Joho because uh, uh, it is uh, 1993 is 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 is, is a long time and uh, and by then the, 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 there are so many things that have, might have happened. I remember I also spoke to a gentleman who was a footballer, but he says he cannot be able to uh, confirm indeed if uh, he schooled with Ali Hassan Joho. Those are some of the issues that are coming here from the residents and also uh, some of the the, the, the the participants who schooled at Serani Boys way back in between 1990 at least to. 1993. These are these are people who, who are very key in terms of uh, uh, d d determining the, that who is speaking the truth. But also the governor himself also took to the social media, saying that uh, he's blaming the jubilee for all this. And remember that uh, uh, during the past one month he has been uh, battling with the jubilee. And so uh, it's running to be a political affair here down at the coast, Betty. All right. Thank you very much, Francis Mtalaki, there for that reporting. And also.